What is up guys? My name is Eric, and today I'm showing you my Sedisi Brood Tyrant EH deck. Now it's a mill deck and I'm sure I just lost a lot of people right there because mill is not something that's really good in uh, anything outside of casual 60 card decks. Uh, maybe modern, but I don't really hear about it too often. Definitely not in standard except for like the two weeks with Sphinx's tutelage. And uh... Yeah, mill is just not a great thing. So I saw that and I was like, you know what? Let's make a mill deck, cause why not? You know who it mills? Me. I mill myself. That's the goal here. And I know some people who are not as experienced as others in the game will go, well, then you're gonna you're gonna lose. How are you gonna Why? Let's take a look at Sidisi. Sidisi is a Naga Shaman, a 3 3, uh, 1 black, green, blue. When Sidisi Brood Tyrant enters the battlefield or attacks, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. When one or more, whenever one or more creature cards are put in your graveyard from your library, put a 2 2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Now, that's good because. Let's kind of slide this over a little bit. For light. Yes. Not not much improvement. I'm a fool. You look at that and you think, well, that's fine and all, but what do you do if you mill yourself? Well, let's just skip ahead here to the back of the deck where I have one Kozilek and one Ulamog. For those of you who do not know, when Kozilek or Ulamog are put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle your graveyard back into your deck. That's that's it. That's what's supposed to prevent me from milling myself and losing. So, let's take a look at the rest of the deck. The idea of the deck, 2-2 two -two zombie tokens. I have a deck like that. It's Grim Grin, Corpse Born, but he doesn't focus on tokens. He focuses on Creatures dying, and then when they die, I drain you for one life through uh, like Zulapor Cutthroat or Blood Artist, Vela Clad, uh, Vengeful Dead. There's six of them Diagraph Captain, and uh, I think it's Falcon Wrath Noble, the vampire out of Innistrad. But uh, this is more about making zombie tokens and turning them sideways. So let's take a look at the deck. For blue, start, to start out, we have Haven Goal Rune Binder. Dreamborn Muse, Mist Hollow Griffin, uh, mostly because I felt like I had to find a place for this card, and it, it just, it feels right here, because um, it could get exiled in one of many ways. Uh, Magus of the Future, Wonder, because it's funny to make your zombies fly, Undead Alchemist, Stitcher Garalf, Body Double, Torrent Elemental, Archetype of Imagination. Flying zombies are still funny. Garolf's Mind Crusher. Sphinx of Uthun. Rapid Hybridization. Levitation. Guess what, guys? Flying zombies are still funny. Back from the Brink. Treasure Cruise. And Increasing Confusion. And then a Jace Memory Adept. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7 Islands. Then this is, whoop, that's a fairy conclave, not an island. Fairy conclave, Vivid Creek. That's the blue section. Now, some of you may notice, I like to use uh, Zendikar full art lands for my EDH decks. The decks that get built and are not fully tested or um, I don't have a lot of confidence in, or maybe I just don't have the lands and it's low priority on my list, those decks that are in testing get those regular lands because, meh, they might not stay together. So, that's why. To go to black, ah, sleepy. Excuse me. Sleepy. But, moving on, Blood Soaked Champion, Garalf's Messenger, Blood Artist, Reassembling Skeleton, Golgari Thug, Necroplasm, Necrotic Ooze, 
Agent of Erebos. This isn't a card a lot of people see, so I'll read it for you guys who do not know. Whenever Agent of Erebos, it, Constellation, whenever Agent of Erebos or another enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. That seems funny as hell. So, of course, it's in here. Because at the very least, he does it himself. There are other enchantments in here. Not a lot, but there are some. Karen Wanderer. Archetype of Finality. Grave Titan. Tassiger. Victim of Night. Doomblade. Probably not the best, but, you know, Doomblade. Underworld Connections. Rend Flesh. Eye Blight's Ending. Whip of Erebos. Endless Ranks of the Dead. Zombie Apocalypse. Murderous Cut. Siphon Flesh. Call to the Grave. Army of the Damned. Empty the Pits. And then my Swamps. <clears throat> swamps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven Swamps. Followed up by non-basic, but provides only black mana, land. Dakmore Salvage for Dredge. And Bojuka Bog. Moving into green, Golgari Brown Scale, Splinter Fright, Kessage Cage, Bra Cage Breakers. Originally, I saw this card and I went, yeah, whatever. But then you know what? I really looked at it and I thought, that is amazing. Let's take a look at it because not a lot of people know this card either. Whenever Kessage Cage Breakers attacks, put a 2 2 green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking for each card in your graveyard. Oh my god, Sadisi. Oh my god. That's just how I felt when I read it, and I actually understood what it did, because before I've looked at it and went, whatever, and that's probably when I pulled it out of a pack, because I was like, meh. I haven't looked at it in like three years, four years, and now I'm like, that's amazing. Uh, Golgari Grave Troll, which, now that I'm looking at it, I don't remember if Golgari Grave Troll is banned in EDH or not. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. If, if, uh, if it is, uh, I'll uh, substitute something there. Uh, Life for the Lo from the Loam. Again, dredging. I don't care so much about bringing lands back, but dredge is good. Uh, forests. One, two, three, four, five. Five forests. A Colony Garden. And a Vivid Grove. Then I got my multicolor cards. Jared. Golgari. Lich Lord. Mortis Strider. Nyx Weaver. Farika. God of Affliction. Glen Alondra Liege. Grimgrin, Corpseborn, Vela the Nightclad, Sultai Charm, Sultai Ascendancy, Garuk Apex Predator, and then my non-basic lands that provide more than one color. Dismal Backwater, Jwar Isle Refuge, Demir Gilgate, Seamit Gilgate, Thornwood Falls, Jungle Hollow, Golgari Gilgate, and an Opulent Palace. Now some of you probably looking at that who have seen my other videos that are tricolor decks, you know... I don't play very many basics. I have lots of these dual lands in there, various kinds. Um, I don't have so many here because this is a deck that I have not focused too hard on. Let's take a look at the rest of the deck. Kozilek, Witch of Truth, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre, Millstone, Grind Clock, Terramorphic Expanse, Evolving Wilds, Dust Mantle, House of Shadow. Friend turned me on to this. It's actually a really good card for the deck. And what you're aiming to accomplish. So I threw it in. I'll give it a try. I haven't, I haven't used it yet. But I'll give it a try. So now something I want to point out. Some of you may be noticing. Uh, compared to some of my other decks. This is not. This is not the usual deck I have. Full of mythics. Um, special art lands. The full arts. A lot of dual lands. It's It's really... It's really cheap. So looking at it, I got Ulamog and Kozlek. They're probably the only things that are worth any real money in here. So the deck is probably worth, I don't know, 50 bucks. You know, it's a super cheap deck. But that's the thing. I've played it before, and it works. It does its job, and it's cheap. You don't need to have super expensive cards for this deck to work. You don't even need Kozilek and Ulamog. I just play them in case the game goes on long and I'm about to mill myself or somebody else will mill me with, you know, like one of my friends, Grind Clock Varel, which is not funny to mill me for 64 a turn unless I have Kozilek and or Ulamog in the deck. But this is a deck 
it's I think it's pretty budget actually and it works so well it doesn't really require a lot of effort to build or know how to play it's mill go that's it you mill yourself you don't want to mill yourself for say 10 cards at a time because Sidisi looking at her whenever one or more creature cards are put in a graveyard from play or from from your library sorry put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield Looking at that at a quick glance, inexperienced players may look at that and go, well, if I mill myself for five cards and there are three creatures, I get three zombies. Incorrect. You get one zombie because you did the act of milling once and there happened to be a creature in there. So, looking at that, you want Dusk Mantle because it puts one card from the top of the deck to the grave. Millstone, I have target player puts the top two cards. Grind clock, I put one charge counter on it, mill myself for one a turn. That's the goal. You don't want to mill a lot. Maybe one, eh, not so much. Maybe with grind clock you want to go two, a little more insurance on that. But the goal is to not mill a lot in one move. You want to mill as few cards as possible in one move, but you want to do it over multiple moves. That's what makes the deck really go. And it's, it's really easy to play that once you know that, you're set. You're golden. That's it. You know? So I highly recommend anybody who happens to have most of these or is looking to get into EDH, if you like CDC, build this deck. It's real cheap. You, If you like it enough, you can put money into it, get a bunch of different dual lands like the shock lands or uh, the fetches. Um, I don't happen to have any of those laying around, especially not for a deck that's in early stages of testing and you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. I might keep it, I might not. If I don't keep it, I'll break it up into Savra, my Savra Sacrifice deck, and my Grim Grin Zombie deck. So, you know, it. I'll see how it goes. But that doesn't mean you guys won't like it as much as I do, or like it as little as I do, I should say. That makes, that makes a little bit more sense. So, I highly recommend anybody who's looking at EDH... In these colors, give CDC a try because it's not it's not a bad deck. It's really fun to play. It's, it's very interactive and it really does not it really doesn't frustrate opponents. Not like you know my sacrifice deck or my blink deck. That's just that's just annoying to people. So I recommend you take a look at it, build the deck. I, I've recommended it, I don't know like six times. So I'm just gonna stop rambling. I will. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Give me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of my decks. Check out some of the other videos I've done. I do Let's Plays, too. One of the ones I'm particularly proud of, uh, Zelda, A Link to the Past. I sat there, one sitting, played the whole game, 100%. One sitting, I believe it's it's not even four hours long, 100% game. It was one of my childhood favorites, so I had to do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.